How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Set to Six, and today we've finally got something. It's finally happened. We have finally got a little teeny tiny teeny mini bit of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth news to talk about. Oh yeah, we've got some Rebirth news. So, you know, strap yourselves in, hit the like button, subscribe for future content, but here we go. Let, let's, let, let's go, let's go. So, it all started yesterday, June the 2nd, a glorious day because it was my birthday. And it started with a post from the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth Remake Twitter account. And that post was an image which has on it a developer comment. So, the first one of these developer comments. The question is, how is development progressing on Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? Uh, and this is put to Yoshinori Kataze. And the answer is, development is progressing smoothly and according to plan. We are currently working on nailing down a release date for the game. And me and a few other people in stream last night were kind of laughing about this because it's an update, but it's not really an update if we're going to be completely honest. Like, it's a bit of a nothing burger. Like, yeah, we know you're working on the game. We can assume that development's progressing well because we've not heard anything otherwise, really. And we know that you're probably already working on a release date for the game because that's what you're working towards whenever you're making a game. So there was a bit of, haha, pointless update kind of talk last night. And I, I kind of offhandedly said, I wonder if there's going to be seven of these. Maybe there's seven of them and then we get something at Summer Games Fest. And it was just kind of an offhanded comment because in the original post it does say developer comment one. So we know there was more coming, we just didn't know how spaced out they were going to be. And then today, June the 3rd comes, and we get another developer comment, and this one was a question posed to Naoki Hamaguchi, who's the director for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and the question was how will players journey through the world outside of Midgar in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? And I'm gonna guess this is potentially something that's come up because of the discourse regarding like airships and vehicles that we may get or may not get in Final Fantasy XVI. I, I think that's why this has possibly come up. Uh, and the answer from Naoki Hamaguchi is players will be able to journey across the wide and multifaceted world with a high degree of freedom, experiencing a myriad of different stories along the way. Now again, that's quite a vague answer. Uh, there's a lot of people that are thinking this means, oh, we're definitely getting an airship, we can travel everywhere, all the locations are going to be there and everything's fine. I don't think it necessarily means that. Being able to travel across this multifaceted world with a high degree of freedom could literally just be this fast travel to big hub areas and then you can run around in the hub areas like we've all been expecting or it could mean that we're going to see some of the vehicles that we saw in the original game make a reappearance such as the buggy such as the tiny bronco such as the high wind and we'll be able to travel about i don't think it's going to be that one if i'm going to be honest with you i i, I, I don't know I, I mean i'm hopeful that it's going to be that one but like i kind of I kind of feel like this high degree of freedom is probably going to be... We'll be able to go around places and travel to places, and it probably will be via the airship, but it's probably going to be something akin to Final Fantasy X, you know, in the way that you travel around in, in Final Fantasy X. That's, that's my gut feeling. Uh, and then the myriad of different stories, that just kind of feeds into some of what we've already seen. We're going to see a lot of side stories. We're seeing a lot of exploration of characters that didn't really get exploration in the original game or in some cases weren't even in the original game. Uh, so there's definitely going to be a large number of different stories that we're going to end up following. I mean, already we've picked up a few. We've got the whole thing with Leslie and Don Carneo. That's a thread that we're going to have to follow, which is going to be important in the story. Uh, we've also got the whole thing with the Avalanche Resistance and the Wutai Resistance and things like that. That's obviously going to be a story thread that we're going to be diving into a lot more. Uh, and there's a lot of characters that we haven't met yet. And given... Given the attention to detail that's gone on a lot of the character stories so far in Final Fantasy VII Remake, imagine how much depth's going to go into things like Corel and Barrett's past. Because even if the story going forward changes, we're still going to have to explore these past events. These past events still happened in these characters' lives. So, yeah, maybe the story going forward's going to change, but Barrett's still going to live his life influenced by the events of what happened in Corel. Vincent is still going to live his life based on the events of what happened in Nibelheim. Sid will still be dealing with the fact that he didn't get to fulfill his dream and go into space. You know, each character has got their own things that has already happened in their life uh, and that they're going to have to be dealing with. And I, we'll definitely get some exploration on them. And I'm looking forward to how much detail we get in that. Uh, and that's what this kind of suggests to me. 
that there's going to be a lot of different stories that we're going to explore and that we're going to delve into. And yeah, uh, I'm very excited for it. Very excited for it. But there is another implication now. That's two days running. We've had two of these developer comments. After this, there's five more days till Summer Game Fest. And we all know that if you, you know, you're talking Final Fantasy VII and you're going to have developer comments, it'd be dumb not to have seven of them. Come on, it makes sense. So if we're going one a day, the last one comes out on the day of Summer Games Fest. Could it be a precursor to a trailer at Summer Games Fest? It's possible. It's also possible that there's not going to be anything at Summer Games Fest, and this is what we're getting just to keep us ticking over for a little bit until after, uh, until July, until post Final Fantasy 16. Let's be honest. So, yeah, I'm kind of 50 50 on this one. I, I think it's possible that. This is a precursor to a trailer dropping at Summer Games Fest. It'd be a nice way to build hype, build hype, build hype, bam, trailer. But at the same time, it could definitely be a mechanism to satiate the desire for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth content because they know that they've got nothing that they're dropping in the next few weeks. So they're giving us something just so that we know that, you know, they're all still alive and the game's still in progress and everything's still ticking along smoothly. That's what I think this could be. I don't know. It depends. Are you a pessimist or are you an optimist? Glass half full, glass half empty. Pick one. And that that's probably what you'll expect. Depending on your outlook on things, if you're a pessimist, you'll probably think this is, oh, we're not going to get anything now. This is what we're going to get. If you're an optimist, you're probably thinking, whoa, Summer Games Fest trailer. Let me know in the comments below. W which one do you think it is? Which one do you think it is? Do you think we are going to get a trailer for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth at Summer Games Fest? Or do you think these developer comments are what we're getting? And that's it. Until July, probably. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Don't forget, drop a like on the vid, subscribe for future content. I will definitely be covering these as they come out over the course of the week. I will, unless, unless something groundbreaking and earth-shattering comes out in the one tomorrow, I'll probably let two of them stack up so we can explore them two at a time. I think that might be the best way to do it. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are about these developer comments and whether or not we're going to get a trailer for Rebirth at Summer Games Fest. Clown makeup at the ready, everybody. But more importantly than anything, have a great day.